Good morning, this is Mr. O'Driscoll, and today we're going to be doing a review for Chapter 2, 2-1, Comparing and Ordering Decimals. Many times you're going to see a list of decimals in a random order, and you're going to have to order them from least to greatest, or it could be from greatest to least. But right now we're going to be doing one from least to greatest. The first thing you should always do is line your decimals up using the decimal point. Another good tip is to annex zeros so you have the same number of digits behind the decimal point. It makes it visually easier and also if you pronounce the decimal points, the decimals, it's also easier. For example, our first number is 23 and 4 and 56 thousandths. The second number is 23 and 54 hundredths. If we annex the zero, they both now end in the word thousandths, so that makes it a little bit easier. Let's put some zeros down here and right now all four numbers have three decimal points after them. They're all going to end in the thousands. Now we can start to compare each of the digits. Always start at the left. So we're going to look at the first column and we notice we have all twos. They're all, they're all equal. The next column is three. Again, all the numbers are equal. Then we have our decimal point. The first decimal, the tenth column, we have three fours and one five. Well, we already know now, just from that, that this is going to be our largest decimal point. So he's going to be the fourth one in the list. Now we want to try to look at the decimals that begin with the four. Again, we can look at them visually, and we can see that, oh, 400 thousandths, that's going to be the smallest decimal. So we'll mark that as number one. Then we're going to have 421 thousandths. That's going to be number two. And then 456 thousandths will be the third decimal. Now I'm just marking this just to make it easy to see it. But then we should actually write it out so that we can visually see how we've ranked them from least to greatest. So if I just drag over the answer, there we go. Another th item we can do for comparing decimals is use the less than, greater than, or the equal symbol. If you look at these numbers, we seem to be uh, pointing at the smallest number. Now you may have used the alligator eats the big number or Pac-Man eats the big number. That's fine. But if you can see it, the, the point of the arrow is actually pointing at the smaller number. So 45 hundredths is less than 49 hundredths. Now we're looking at 73 hundredths and 57 hundredths. And again, we're pointing at the smaller number. 73 hundredths is greater than 57 hundredths. And on the last problem, we have 124 thousandths is equal to 124 thousandths. Well, all the numbers have the same value, so they are equal. Another method to do that we will do is again now to compare them by using the symbols. But first, notice again that the, num the numbers after the decimals are not the same on all these problems. So again, we need to annex. And down here, we need to put a decimal point in. We have three point zero 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 and we just have the number three let's fix this one first because it will be the easiest we're just going to put a decimal point there now we can go ahead and start doing our annexing we need a, a zero added on to this number we need another zero annexed onto that number now this number the three we're going to have to annex three zeros We look okay on the next number. Oh no, look, we need a zero over here. We have one hundredth. We need to add a zero there. Now all our digits, including the bottom, which only has two, have the same number of digits behind them. Visually, it's now easy to see the numbers and use the correct symbol. So right now we have eight and 763 thousandths, and we're comparing that to eight and 760 thousandths. Well, eight. 8 and 763 thousandths is greater, so we're going to point to the smaller numbers. We have 2 and 421 thousandths, comparing that to 2 and 420 thousandths. Again, we're going to point to the smaller number. Well, we have 3 or 3 and 0 thousandths, 3 or 3 and 0 thousandths, those are equal. If we look at the next number, again, we have the 253 on both sides. But then we have ten thousandths here and one thousandths. Well, ten thousandths is greater. So again, we're going to point at the smaller number. 
Now be careful because sometimes they'll write some numbers where they use the same digits as we have in this last example. And your eyes may just fool you. So look at the numbers and pronounce them. Again, we can see we have a six and a six. We have our decimals. Now we have a nine and an eight. Well, the nine is greater. So again, we're going to be pointing at the smaller number. Another method we can use is a number line. Now this number line starts at zero and it ends at one tenth. So now we're just going to put these these points on a number line and order them from least to greatest. So the first one that's going to be nice and easy to do is the 0 0.1. Well, we have it right here. Let's just drag that right over. Let's look for anything else that's nice and simple. Oh, we have a 0 0.8. Well, if we count, actually it's 0 0.08. This space is called 0 0.01. 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08. I'm going to grab that 0 0.05 because that goes right in the middle. That's five hundredths. That's half of one tenth. Here's another nice easy one. We have the 0 0.1. That's going to be the very first line right there. Now the 0 0.035. That's going to be between 0 0.03 and 0 0.04. So that's going to be halfway right there. We have a 0 0.015. Well, it's a little bit bigger than this one, but it's less than 0 0.02. So it must be right in the middle. And then the last one is 0 0.72. Well, here's 0 0.7. And it's a tiny bit bigger than that, so I'm just going to place it there in the line. We can do a quick check here to see if we answered it correctly. And it looks pretty much like we've matched everything up. You'll be seeing some problems now uh, in Yakapaka or a worksheet, so be very careful. Again, line up your decimal points, annex zeros, even say the numbers to yourself. Look at them carefully. Uh, do your best work. Try to get a good score. Good luck.